control. We would often use to secure the rotator cuff, which is a tendon that can be torn through either overuse or through an injury and would need to be repaired really to restore the normal function of the shoulder. And this is an example of a, uh, a screw that would go into the bone. You can see the material right here. This little plastic piece would actually go into the bone and then this would slide over this metal structure, over the stitches and then lock that in place. And one more example of that, this is another screw that would go into the bone. In this case, the stitches are built into the anchor itself. So the screw would actually go into the bone and lock in place. And uh, once it's locked in place, these uh, stitches would then be pulled free. This would stay in the bone, this would pull out. And then, this, as this is in the bone, the stitches are then passed through the tissue and then are used to secure the tissue back down to the bone. And this material is made of a sugar and calcium. So that over the course of 18 to 24 months, this would dissolve and uh, there would be no interference then in the future with further x-rays or MRIs. Lastly, this is a, just a larger screw to repair a, uh, a ligament to the bone, such as an ACL reconstruction where we put a graft in place and you wanted to secure it to the bone, this screw could be used. And again, this is the same biocomposite material, which would then resolve in a couple of years. Uh, the graft itself should uh, be healed to the bone within a matter of uh, several weeks. And, so therefore, you really don't need the screw in there anymore. The advantage to this is that it dissolves, and again, it would not interfere with further imaging tests, uh, such as an MRI or an X-ray in the future.